For all the power and stature the post of President of the United States holds, it would seem it is also a very dangerous one. The President has been a very popular target for assassins and madmen. The first attempt occurred in January 1835. The target? President Andrew Jackson. House painter Richard Lawrence approached and fired his two flintlock pistols in succession. Both failed to discharge. In April 1865, a group of disgruntled Confederate sympathizers conspired to kill President Abraham Lincoln. Actor John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln from behind with a percussion cap pistol while he was attending the theater. Lincoln died the following day. Booth was cornered and shot dead sometime later, while the other conspirators were rounded up, tried, and hanged. 1881, just four months into his term of office, President James A. Garfield was shot twice by a disgruntled lawyer, Charles J. Guiteau. One bullet lodged in his spine. It took 11 painful weeks before he succumbed to the injury. The next attempt was also successful. In September 1901, President William McKinley was shot twice at close range by anarchist Leon Zolgoz. Even after surgery, McKinley died eight days later. The next assassination attempt found its mark. The resilient Teddy Roosevelt, having left office three years earlier, was campaigning for re-election in October 1912 when he was shot once with a pistol. The bullet was slowed by a 100-page folded speech and metal glasses case in his pocket. February 1933, the president-elect Franklin D. Roosevelt was shot at five times in Florida, a month before taking office. The hitman, Giuseppe Zangara, wounded four other people and killed the mayor of Chicago, Anton Chemak. Zangara was found guilty of murder and executed. In recent times, it's been suggested that the mayor was the actual target, as he was a staunch enemy of one El Capone. Outside Blair House, the president's temporary Washington home, fanatics of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party tried to force their way in. When the three-minute shooting was over, would-be assassin Grisilio Torresola was dead, and White House policeman Leslie Goffelt fatally wounded. Accomplice Oscar Colazzo and two other guards were wounded as the plot was foiled. President Truman was taking his afternoon nap upstairs at the time. The next failed attempt took place in Palm Beach, Florida. President-elect John F. Kennedy was targeted by Richard Pavlik, a former postal worker who planned to ram the president's car with his dynamite-laden 1950 Buick, but he lost his nerve and was picked up for a traffic violation. Dallas, Texas, December the 22nd, 1963. Riding in a motorcade with his wife, Jacqueline, President Kennedy was hit twice by sniper's bullets. Fatally wounded, he was pronounced dead several hours later. Richard M. Nixon also suffered two attempts on his life. The first was in 1972 while visiting Canada. The second attempt occurred two years later in February when Samuel Bick planned to crash a plane into the White House. He stormed a commercial airliner at Washington Airport, shot the pilot and co-pilot, and after a shootout with the authorities, killed himself. Meeting and greeting the public on a walk in Sacramento, California, President Gerald Ford narrowly missed being shot by Lynette Squeaky Fromm, a former member of the Charles Manson clan. In September 1975, in San Francisco, Sarah Jane Moore fired a revolver at Ford from 40 feet away and missed. Before President Jimmy Carter was to give a speech in Los Angeles, Raymond Lee Harvey was arrested nearby carrying a pistol. He claimed he was part of a conspiracy that included Mexican snipers. He was released due to lack of evidence. March 1981, leaving a function in Washington, D.C., Ronald Reagan was fired on by John Hinckley, Jr. Reagan was hit once in the chest and three others were seriously wounded. After emergency surgery, Reagan made a speedy recovery. October 1994, 29 shots were fired at the White House from the fence overlooking the North Lawn. Francisco Martin Duran was arrested, but no one was hurt. While giving a speech in Tbilisi, Georgia in 2005, George W. Bush was the target of one Vladimir Arutunian, who threw a hand grenade at the podium. It landed 18 meters from the podium and failed to detonate. So it would seem to be president requires the knowledge that one is always a potential target.